Hey there team, Coach Alexa here. So we're going to delve into the anatomy of the pelvis. You might have seen my previous video last week, which is worth a look at before I start diving into this in a bit more detail, just about the, the bony bits of the pelvis. So what it looks like in uh, three dimensions. Um, so that's a good watch before this video. So I'm going to build on that um, in this video, talking, starting off with the muscular anatomy. So let's look at this diagram on the left hand side here. Um, what we're looking at here is the back of the pelvis. And as you may have spotted, if you've watched my previous videos on the kind of high level anatomy things, um, there's layers and layers and layers of stuff going on. So what you'll see here at the back is we've got a few of the glute muscles. So this is looking from the rear. These are your sit bones at the bottom, your hip joints um, around the front here, um, thigh bones coming down. And so these muscles are all kind of coming and attaching on. This is the bony bit on the outside of your hip. Um, and they're a combination of muscles that are stabilising the movement of that hip joint and then are driving that leg backwards when we run. So the larger the glute muscles get, generally speaking, the more they're, they're doing those kind of driving jobs. So they'd be getting involved when you're walking, running, squatting, whatever. But there's also these muscles that are going sideways here that are doing the stabilising. So that means they're stabilising the pelvis, so they're keeping it level. So when we land on one leg, when we run, that pelvis stays really nice and still. It doesn't drop to one side or rotate or anything and also it stabilizes the movement of the thigh coming down from the hip joint so again we're two-legged creatures we're a bit tippy so these muscles are quite key in making sure that it keeps the angle between pelvis and leg so this leg doesn't roll inwards it doesn't collapse underneath us we basically stay upright um, when we're standing walking running or doing any other sport this diagram here on the uh, right hand side is the front view so this if you were standing facing somebody and you could see, again see lots more complexity so there are a lot of muscles that actually go inside the pelvis so attached down onto the top of the femur all the way up from your lower back and the inside of that pelvic bowl at the back. So these are muscles that you couldn't get to with a foam roller or sports massage, very, very, very deep stabilizing muscles. You can see more that are coming across from the front of the sit bones, again, into the back of and, and side of this thigh bone. So all of these, you can kind of see that they're doing this stabilization work. So these muscles here are doing the opposite of the ones that we saw on this side. So these muscles in the, in the bottom are, are basically controlling that movement or pulling that movement of the, the leg outwards from the, the hip socket. These muscles are pulling the leg inwards from the hip socket. So between the two of them, they manage the angle between the pelvis and the thigh bone itself and keep us controlled and upright. And you can see just how complicated all of this are. Two very important ligaments here going across the front. Um, from the little bony bit on the front of your hips, uh, your pelvis, if you were to put your hands on your hips, kind of roughly where your fingers would be, this little attachment point for a couple of muscles and also this key ligament here. But if we go on to this next set of diagrams, a um, couple of other sort of areas of complexity, really. So this view is from the top down. So if somebody was sort of viewing you right from the top of your ribcage down through your middle, looking at the top down view of your pelvis and these muscles are all the very, very important pelvic floor. So they control a lot of our movements. They control, you know, what we're, what we're doing when we go to the toilet, for example. But they're also basically providing a big hammock for all of our internal organs to stop them falling out of the bottom. Um, so, you know, these muscles are super, super important, uh, particularly for women because we've got wider pelvises, particularly for women who've had babies, because there can be a little bit of overstretching and, and potentially tearing of some of the muscles and other tissues in this area. Um, so, again, another really important set of muscles when we're doing sport, walking, running, to kind of hold everything in place and provide that kind of control around our pelvis. And I won't go into too much detail, but this is just the rear view of all of the ligaments, well, not all of the ligaments, just a few of the ligaments, in fact, that hold our pelvis together as well. So that attach the legs to the hip joints um, that provide stability, particularly around this very important joint that I went through in my last video, this sacroiliac joint that where the spine joins the back of the pelvis. So a huge amount of complexity going on around here. Anyway, I hope that's a useful overview. As always, lots going on in these areas and I'll focus in a little bit more on the hip joint specifically in my next video. Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.